Hello and welcome back to the Beyond Typos mod pack multiplayer thing with Arumba, Stijo, and Zippy. Say hello. 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 How are you? I'm still good. Thank you. Really? Nothing's yeah. changed in the last 40 seconds? No, no, I think we're... <laughs> no, 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 we actually do. We, we get together. No, we get to, we get together. We actually get together once every single day to record for twenty minutes. Don't let's not break you the illusion. You know what? Some people would actually believe that. I feel like well, they already think that. I'm glad they do because that's what we do. I mean, and we actually do that every single day. Uh, Arumba, you know of three provinces that I don't. Do you want me to tell you what they are? Well, one of them's in Central Africa. One of them's in the Congo, and one of them is in unknown lands. Ooh. Really? That's mm -hmm. cool. That's really because I don't know of them, they're all unknown lands, but you know, whatever. This is weird, but I think I can I'm actually gonna lower maintenance. <laughs> the Germans are demilitarizing. You heard it here <laughs> first. Wait, what? We heard that once before. We ain't fallen for it again. No, I'm not talking about the Rhineland. I'm talking about <laughs> The actual land maintenance. Now, don't don't be surprised though. I can actually recover due to the national ideas and like idea sets that, that I took. I can go from zero percent morale of armies to one hundred percent in two months. So, <laughs> we're very eager. High morale. How? What's the best way of seeing how overextended your vassal is? Click on one of the provinces that they own, and then you hover <laughs> over their unrest. And mm -hmm. you look at the number that's from overextension, and if the number's five, they're at max. If it's less than five, it's whatever percentage of five is the percent that they're at. So if they're at four, they're at eighty percent overextension. Oh, they're pretty One good. would be twenty percent. I feel that's a question that gets asked every single time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but it's a great way to to check it because it it takes into account their administrative efficiency and tech and all that stuff because. That's that's just how the equation works. Whatever your overextension is, 100% is five unrest. Yeah, I, I ask because I want to integrate some people and uh, some people may be overextended. Oh, so you're going to integrate their uncored provinces? Is that what you're yeah, worried about? I don't want to do that. I, I remember you doing that and having to core for like yeah. 300 points a pop. I was like, nah. Yeah. I ain't about that life. I had... <laughs> I had like three, two, almost 200% overextension for quite a while. It was pretty dumb. It was during our war. It was during the France um, thing where I took Piombino. Well, I was very pugnacious that day, so. Hire an advisor. What advisor do I need? I need a different. I'm able to gross, or not gross, my net income is about 75% of my gross income. That's obnoxious. No, it's not obnoxious, it's glorious. <laughs> Same thing. Uh, let's get a trade efficiency, dude. Well, I can finish this ID group. What does it give me? Prestige from land, but oh, it's minus 50%. Eh, fuck it. Rebels. This feels so familiar. Feels like all I do nowadays is just fight rebels. Well, you're doing the court and country event, right? So mm -hmm. you were expected. Well, last session I had like a lot of overextension. The session before that, it was just religious natives in Mexico or whatever. The session before that, and I think it was Lambert in France. Fucking Lambert. I know, what a dick. Lambert. How much do I make from my vassals? 11 ducats. If you consider taxing them. <laughs> Like, a lot. That works pretty well, sometimes. I should give that a go. 
Ooh, diplomatic annexation cost. Yeah, I'll take you. Ellie's about to make some big gains. Are they actually invading? No, they're defending. Yeah. Wait, I'm Italy. What are you talking about? I said Delhi. Uh, I'm pretty sure you didn't, but okay. I thought he says Italy too. But I also wasn't listening. <laughs> so, Fair enough. You know, Fair, you know. I guess. Yeah, so... Oh, wait, I'm allied with Sindh. Why was I doing that again? Was I trying to buy a province from her or something? That does uh, sound like something you might do, yeah. Yes. I would like to buy a province from... Uh, Delhi, or Arissa, if they'll let me. Oh, yeah, had a war. Let's do that. Why, why buy provinces where you can just punch people in the face? It is a very... You know what I don't like now that you're Germany? What? When I go into the player map mode, you're almost indistinguishable from everyone else. Like that gray and the gray of like uncolonized is too similar. Yes, I'm sneaky like that. I'm very <laughs> sneaky. Holy shit, they sold me that province for only 500 ducats? Hell yeah. Take it. 500? Yeah, I can actually send a, a trade fleet this way now. Yay. And I'm currently building one. Yay. Gain, how come you, why do you get professionalism events? It's like, gain 100, gain one professionalism. And it's like, oh, that sounds great, yeah. I'm at 100%. Why do I? Why do I <laughs> this is a stupid event anyway. Gain one professionalism and lose 57,000 manpower. Or lose 115,000 manpower. Like, Solid choices there. Right, like, <laughs> is that... That's not a real decision. It should have been the numbers, manpower numbers, I think, are reversed. Or something. Now, what can I do with this province to make it easier for my ships to do things? First of all, this province has three development. <laughs> oh, nice. Cool. I just got one of the uh, cultural events, I think. Something changed culture. Interesting. Like, doesn't this mean that I get... The holy work as the belly can serve one. <gasps> yes! Oh my god, I want to invade India. No, I must resist. Oh, but I want to. I'm not gonna invade India. But I so it's am part going to purchase India. It's parliamentary realism. I'm not gonna buy it all. But I do have my first footsteps inside India. You see the border guard that's going on in India right now? <laughs> like that just happened. And I cannot core it. Be oh, it's already, it starts out as your core when you buy it. Yeah. yeah. Did not yeah, know that's that. What that's, uh, that's pretty sexy. You bought land in India? Yeah, I, I don't have the coring range on that, unfortunately. So even if I wanted to use the naval invasion CB, I can't like take that land. All right. Well, I've been and doing like this peacetime company investment. Peacetime thing for a while. Yes, I guess I'm gonna go controller. murder people now. Oh, it automatically starts inside a trade company as well. So is parliamentarism any good? Yes, sure. That's that's the thing that gives you access to parliament. We were talking and about is, that. Is parliament good? Yes. Can it gives you right, like get a, a good bonus. Would you like an extra like a permanent colonist with extra settler chance? Because that's one thing you could use it for. Would you like to increase your subjects for 15% less? Always. Because that's another thing you can use it for. You could use it for merchant. You could use it for... It's dynamic. You can change it. Every 10 years, you can change it. It's like a focus. Great. Ah, okay. So you, you said ignore lose, the seats you, thing, though. You do lose the noble's estate, though. The drawback to it. Yeah. But nobles are usually the ones that... I'm always mad. <laughs> so I was going to say, they're the only ones that were mad at me at the moment, so... I'm usually not too upset when they leave, because all of the land that they have is instantly unassigned, and it does not go up in autonomy. It's like it's like you revoked it, but not really. Great. And you said that the seats automatically get... Well, I that's the way I handle it. I just disable the alert, because even though they want you to create more, there's no downside to not having enough assigned seats. So you just let the game automatically do it over time. And okay. then... And then, yeah, it's fine. Like, there are a couple perks in vanilla EO4 where you get, like, 10% tax, 10% production and stuff. 
So you could min max it, try to like build it, like put your parliament seats in your highest development provinces. But the main thing is the more parliament seats there are, the more people you have to please to pass the reforms. And what you want to do is every 10 years when the reform date comes up, you pick the topic you want, and then you instantly do all the bribes, and then you're good for 10 years, you get your bonuses. Right, okay. And the bribes are super cheap. It's like a few admin points, a little bit of autonomy in one or two provinces, or 0.1 corruption, or you know, whatever. There's certain ones that are better to sacrifice than others. Yeah, okay, this seems kind of interesting, actually. Okay, my turn I tend to have been in a war. Like it because I felt like it was taking too much to please people. Well, the there is an alternative way of, of dealing with it. You have to choose a debate, otherwise you suffer 0.1 corruption per year, which isn't even that big of a penalty, honestly. But <laughs> you can choose it, choose the debate, and then just wait 10 years, and eventually it will have a percent chance of, of succeeding. Depending hey, on the number of seats. Guess, guess what? I'm going to found an Indian trade company and it's going to give me 200 ducats. I'm wow. fucking rolling in it now. Hell yeah. I mean, it also gave me a merchant and global trade power for the rest of the game, but you know what? Whatever. Yeah. Spitting hairs. Yeah. Who's doing that? I mean, I've got 13 merchants now. Can I have one? It's a fucking pain in the arse. Try to sign them all. <laughs> yeah, but you get a lot of multiplicative. Trade power by having yeah. high, by having them. That reminds me, I need to get this merchant out of Adolfo Vaden. He should not be there. I should move him to can move him. So you're basically trying to partition like you know all of the Ottomans. Then you're you're cutting me off through Bulgaria. No, I, I, Byzantium. I, I, was, I, was, I like sexy borders. That's a yeah, thing. yeah. He's the best border of all time. Those the the line there, is sexy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just need to do. You know what? When you're draw, when you're doing a drawing and you got your crayons, what do you do first? You color around the outside and then you fill in the middle. Makes yeah. sense. Oh no, that's what I did with France. So I mean, <laughs> exactly. It just it's makes. By, sense. It's it's your way of saying this is mine. <laughs> I want this. In a roundabout way of speaking, yeah, totally. Also, also sexy borders. I mean, you can't, you can't, you can't deny. Oh my god, even more separatists. Then Please. again, considering what your country looked like at the start, and Nitra and Galicia, Volhynia, and Moldavia, and then Normandy, Gascony, maybe, maybe you can deny. No, that's actually their historic borders. Totally. <laughs> well, I mean, actually. I, I said that as a joke just now, but I, I just returned their course. Well, Normandy, you didn't. Oh no, Normandy, no, no, Normandy was messed up. <laughs> oh, I've got a free merchant. Okay. Sure, why not? Free, free prestige. I'm at war again. <laughs> why yeah, not? Fuck all my uh, trade power here, but that will change. I mean, hopefully, hopefully, I don't get randomly invaded by the Ottomans. So you're going to Tripoli. I've got a dude in Tripoli who is pushing stuff to Valencia. Uh, do I want you to go to Valencia? Actually, kind of no. I'd make much more money if it went to Napoli. I should release Aragon. So then that's pushing that up there. I think I've just improved uh, Arumba's trade income by about three ducats. Oh, gee, thank you. It's very nice. Um, very nice. How wonderful. Yeah, I'm very kind like that. I mean, you increase Arumba's trade income by three ducats, and it probably increases mine by about 0 0.01. If that. Mm, I don't so know. are you in India yet? Don't complain too much. You're making 103 ducats a month in the English channel. Like, I'm not... I'm not complaining. Oh, yeah, you are. You've got Del uh, Bengal. And you are building Jungle Clearing. You talking about me? Yeah, of course I am. 
Yeah, I told you, I, I managed to buy this province for 500 ducats. It was a steal. Oh, I got mine for like 1,200. Yeah. Well, this province does have like three dev. Well, I well, it has 10 now, but I had to, I had to develop it. I wish there was a building that I could just like build that would let me park 50k troops in one province. You can. It's called um, the terrain improvement plus a university plus give it to the burgers and uh, and then you develop. To you the, can't give develop it to burgers. It. It's in India. Develop to like 50 province development. Oh, Actually, okay. uh, if it's in a trade company, there's a trade company building you can build that will increase the supply limit there. Right, really? I didn't the see it. Top left corner, the first first set of ideas, the first set of buildings. They increase fort defensiveness. And also and supply, supply limit. limit. Oh, top left. Fucking idiot. Oh, yeah, so it does. I don't know if it'll give you a 50 stack, but it'll point, increase the point supply. Five supply limit. Yeah, plus 0.5. So, yeah, it's base. Base supply. Crap? So that's actually really good. These popes are dropping like flies. Yeah. I invested so much people influence into the last pope, and I barely got to use them for a year. So rude. Building a university right now. I'm actually gonna lose prestige because of this. Oh, you're war with the Timurids as well. Oh yes, of course you are. You're war with the Ottomans. <laughs> and then I jumped in, just just because. You jumped in? I did. I got I got the follow-up and saying you can intervene in this war for Germany, and I was like, all right, sweet, free prestige. I'll just sit Wait. here doing nothing. Oh, you're on my war? You're on my side? I'm on your side. I'm doing yeah. development right now. I'm not paying attention to the war. That's what my subjects are for now. That's their job. <laughs> They're it, doing an okay uh, job of it. They, they haven't crossed the uh, Sea of Marmara yet. Like every now and then I go over and I look just to, you know, send a few stacks on some sieges. But for the most part, we're having a, a, a pretty massive development revolution. I'm up to 6,600 personal development. 7,771 if you factor in my subjects. So, I've increased my lead on you a bit, Lambert. You're now two-thirds my size instead of 75% of my size. Um, I am not even remotely surprised. More importantly, I make about a thousand ducats a month now. Oh my god. That's ten times the amount that I do. That's net. That's <laughs> Oh, net. Gross, gro yeah, net. It's net. Gross, gross is 1400 What? Pretty good, right? Oh. <laughs> my total What's income it? is 569 My balance is 301 Actually, that's a lot more than it used to be. Mine's 200 Yeah, trade's working. I, I have a feeling, CJ, you, you, you and I, we're not, we're not going to build a ship up to these. Are you still, is Kalima still your vessel, by the way? Who? Yes. Leave Kalima alone. You leave Kalima alone. Oh, they're my vassal. Leave them alone. They're my. They they own my rightful property. Oh, <laughs> really? I'm building a fucking wall, bitch. <laughs> no, don't build a wall to keep the Mexicans out. No, don't do it. Who's gonna pay for it though? Um, um hang on, uh, Arumbo. Will you kill me if I uh, put my boats back where they belong? Wait, no, 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 then no, I'll no. pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Zippy's already been paying for no, it. No, you, can, it you can put your boats where you want. I, I was, you can do whatever you want, it's fine. Uh, if you want to mess with them again, that's fine. Let's see what happens. I'm curious. Let's just, just, let's just say that the... Uh, transferring from uh, a different place now. Okay, but let's just say whatever uh, treaty or treaties was signed is no longer in effect. Oh, dear. Is that a thing? The, We're doing the, the treaties the, and stuff? The protecting of Zippy's trade so, zone, longer of German concern. So, so, so you want me to turn on you? That's that's what you want. Yes. All right. <laughs> I don't know who he was asking the question to. <laughs> sure, let's fight Spain. That sounds fun. He's already in your war. I know, but I didn't expect that. I don't know why he's on my side. It's really quite strange. Literally no reason. I don't have to do anything, and I'm sure I'll get something from the war. It's You'll probably get like a, a point, favor, like point two prestige yeah. or something. 
I, I don't know how, but you do have 19% participation. I do. I like, I, what have you done? It's probably I, your subjects. Uh, I don't see any of his subjects. <laughs> you get a, you get a participation ribbon, uh, ribbon, basically. Do I? I don't I see his blockades. Am I like accidentally blockading the Timberites or something? Holy crap, that's hilarious. <laughs> but it's about that time. <laughs> yeah, no. I got it this time. Boom. Uh, I don't even have a big red flashy thing. I just looked at the time. Well done. Whose turn is it? Yours, um, done oh, it's mine? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, thank you all very much for watching. Um, I'm not going to do any flashy bullshit like Zippy here. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it and bye. Bye bye. See you soon. Have we the same? <laughs>